I was speaking about this with Dave in our in our first go around. Action figure people get no respect. No, none, none. Even from no, I still like, sheepishly ask. Excuse me, can you please check a DPCI for me? I really <laughs> appreciate it. Yeah, I, I'm like I know you're busy. Finish what you doing when you're done with that customer just i just have a quick question like you know it's still very meek and you know very like you know just trying to oh thank you i really appreciate you know just going above and beyond because i'm sure they deal with assholes all day long so it's like just I, try to be the nice one like i do that as well though i'm always yeah. very at once especially if it's someone i don't know like if i know they're an asshole it might be a different story but if it's someone i don't know, i always go about it so nicely I agree. yeah you guys so gotta get, get like Kanye or Travis Scott to like get into toys and then you'll all be legitimized. Oh, I think dude. that's gonna, I, you know what? I don't even think so because I, listen, yeah. I, I, here, here, here's where I'm gonna go. What the fuck? Um, this bullshit of all these celebrities for Hasbro PulseCon this weekend. I just video. want, I just want tomorrow's maniac video, dude. So, I just oh, want to yeah, just goes. fast forward, just show us the toys. We're here for the toys. We don't care about the rappers. We don't care about the football players or the wrestlers. Most of us. I know some people are, and I just looked at them like they're crazy. But I'm like, we're here for the toys. You got to shout out Matt Cardona, though. Yeah, but like, do it separate. Don't do it in the middle of the Marvel Legends panel. Don't hold us hostage in the middle of the panel with reveals. Like, it's it's like Comic-Con. Like, when you go to Comic-Con and you go to the Marvel Legends panel, that's what you see you're not treated to 45 minutes of some other person that likes toys that the guys on the team want to talk to. And listen, they've gotten to a level where they can pull that, but, and you know, good for them, but I'm not sitting through it. I'll watch it. I'll watch the stream after it's done. By the way, Travis Scott did make an action figure. I don't know if you know that or not. Yeah, he did it. Was it with NECA or was it through Fortnite? Yeah. Like a couple, and he's in Fortnite. Travis Scott is in Fortnite. And who's Cardona's the celebrity great. who's into who's the biggest celebrity that's into oh. legends? Do we have anybody? And who's the biggest influencer in that regard? Um, I, I don't, think I there don't is know. One. I, I I don't think there is one big enough to that's worth mentioning. I think they all love the fact that they have figures of themselves. Sure. And I think that they all probably own their own figure, and I think they're they, they're happy with that. Um, I. <laughs> Is a quick aside. I Diamond Select Toys is usually really good to me. They're a really good working partner for the stuff I do. And so I went to Comic Con, and uh, Zach, who works there, who's my contact, was very busy. And so, like, I didn't want to bother him. So on the last day, I went up and I was like, "Hey, I wasn't able to get the the Daredevil Punisher Netflix two pack mini mates. I was like, Do you have any left? There's none on the shelf. He's like, I got one that's, but it's open." And he's like, I hope you don't mind. It's open. It was opened by John Barenthal. And we've got pictures of him with it. And I'm like, yes, I will take that pack. I will definitely take that. Pack. You're not and a so Barenthal guy, like you said, you'll, you just want the, you just want the, the product. It's open. I have it. It's downstairs. It's cool. you know, nicely packed away. But so I think every actor likes the fact that they have their own toys. I don't know if there are any looking for them the way we do, but I'm sure there are. I'm mm. sure there are. There might be, but again, it doesn't matter. And the fact that there is anyone coming to this yet again is goes very far with what you were saying before with how out of touch they all are. I mean, again, the, the, the free marketing is in every chat. It's all up and down. Fuck this. Show the toys. Are you? They're going to have to show up the chat. Cares? They're 100% going to have to show up the chat. I mean, I'm so ready for that chat. So I hope that they do shut it down. So, they yeah. have they have shut the chat down the past, uh, i know i years. know but it's a shame dude because i love taking screenshots of the chat and then shaming people because they're so fucking dumb so it would be a shame well, I, I think a lot of i mean do we want to jump into the hell charger i mean i don't want to jump ahead of the game but sure, they want to make fun of me because i like other toys i do i do want to do that before we're done yes that's yeah, very that's important and that. it's not even make fun Look, of me Okay. Do you have a um? Do you have something I can make fun of? Do you have a retro anything there? Oh, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Good. How much Those is that fucking tiny thing? Ones that are lovely. Ten and ten. Okay. So how much are those? How much do those cost ten. at retail? Ten dollars. Now, what ten do they really cost at retail? What aren't they? Aren't they like eleven ninety nine? 
Yeah, they they went up in the last year. I, everything's gone up. Nine, right now, now put him now put one of those in this pose for a mere twelve dollars more. Right. Khalil, are so, those the vintage style marvels that I've seen? The yes. little tiny ones? Yeah. I actually yeah. like those, Dave. I think those are actually cool looking. Well, yeah. okay, so, so I will make the point. Wait, here's the thing. This is what I grew up on. This is a 77 Obi-Wan. They work together. They work together. I like the idea of having the vintage with these in the same style that I can put in front of that. Um, uh, what whatever that is, I can't remember. The, I can't think crest, of yes. the razor crest. Thank you. I can put these next to the razor crest, and it looks good. Because I grew so, up on this. I grew right. up on these. Like and they, so they I, didn't have the articulation. And I very much wish that I didn't have to have any sort of problem with that. Because I mean, in a perfect world, what you said was, you know, I think you said you have to accept that other people like things that you don't, or something along those lines. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's probably exactly so what I said. Right. So the problem is if that chunk of shit that just goes, you know, like this is eleven ninety nine now. Yeah. And now, now this is all the way up to fucking twenty five. No, see you you say like no no no, it doesn't matter. But dude, you don't think they're looking at the price of those reaction figures and thinking, why are we only charging what we're charging? If they're gonna well, pay well listen, seven, super seven's out of their fucking uh, mind the way they charge things. Uh, but they're out there selling them, and that's the problem. Like it if, it, if these were not, if this was not an issue with this pricing, I wouldn't care at all, dude, because it would have no effect on me whatsoever. But when you know, you know, this thing was nineteen ninety nine. This is all new parts. This yeah. thing, which is shorter, is now thirty one, or I'm sorry, thirty three ninety nine. Thirty one. I got what. Well, I got it at thirty one too, but it's thirty three ninety nine. Yeah. yeah, we got it on sale on Amazon. So I, I get it. I wait get one it. second. Wait That's, one second. That is the only problem I have. So for listeners, we're talking about the merits between the original, like three. What is it? Three and a half inch. Three and classic, three quarter. Yeah. Three and a quarter inch Star Wars style figures or reaction style figures now limited yes. articulation the classic to- uh, Star Wars toy that you may have in your head. We're talking about those versus the six inch highly articulated Star Wars and modern action figures that, um, yeah. uh, that are released uh, the contemporary style action figures. We're talking about the differences between the three and, and a quarter inch and the six inch. So carry yeah. on gentlemen. Hey, look, you got into a cool pose. You said he couldn't do cool poses. All right, listen, he can do all the great poses. I can get this thing into a pretzel if I really wanted to. And that's the problem. Like, that's the problem with those figures. Like, it's just, again, if greed were not a thing, if they weren't constantly looking to rip us off now, which they clearly are, which we'll get to in a minute with Mr. Haslab there. I wouldn't care. I really wouldn't. I could just laugh those things off and think, wow, this looks like shit and just move along and not care at all that you bought it. That's just not, unfortunately, the reality. And I can't back any of that up with facts. I have no idea what goes on in Hasbro meetings. I'm just using common sense. What I'm fairly surprised at is I think Marvel went full in on it and they do about three waves a year. I am still in utter shock that Star Wars only does one wave per year of those retro card figures. They do one per year. Isn't there only one? Was there two this year? No. Is there even a wave of, um, I want to call it dead scale, but that's not it. Um, vintage collection on pre-order right now. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Yeah. There, there's at least one, if not two, I think one is just hitting now. And the next one might be the Luke Skywalker one from Manda. Let me ask you this because you mentioned so, you mentioned Super Seven, and let me give you a little the Hasbro. History. Let me give you a little it's... history of my of like Super Seven with me. So I was on a toy message board that was hosted by yeah. Super Seven way before uh, <laughs> the reaction figures when they were yeah. still doing like kaiju stuff. Yeah. Um. And so like I don't like I'm, I'm and you're into that stuff, right? Yeah, I I, I, I am. Guys, yeah. Now, I, but I saw I saw the rise of like the custom made kind of um. He-Man stuff and like the you know the Silverhawk stuff, but I also saw like the reaction figure their emergence in the with reaction figures, 
what for for guys like you who are in the scene of like the Hasbro and like the big box sort of collectible toys what's your take on super sevens kind of um emergence into this scene in, in into what what exactly do you mean by emerge into uh, what scene? into just like into the like the 80s properties emergence into target stores emergence into the mainstream toy market i my personal opinion on it is they they are as blind as hasbro is about the hell charger as they are you know they they don't see things outside of them in my personal opinion i think the price raising of the ultimates line what you get versus what they actually should be um the idea that we we can't we have other options um Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth are just trying to throw those Transformers Ultimates out the window. They keep putting them on like deep clearance, like a third of the price or a quarter of the price. Like they just can't get rid of them um, because I, I just don't think the they don't have the legs to keep going at this rate with these price. I mean, they're they're on pace with Hasbro with the idea of like raising prices and not delivering on product. Um, do you think that they're they're actually um, because they set their prices a certain way? You have instances where Hasbro comes along and says, "Oh, but look at Super Seven; they're charging this and they're getting it. We should up our prices as a result." Careful, careful no, how you answer. Careful how you answer this. I'm ready. No, I think Hasbro is looking at it like, "Hey, they'll buy anything we put in front of them, and we're gonna push this until they stop. And when they stop buying," We're just going to say that they're not supporting it. <laughs> and we're going to cancel shit. I think that that, I mean, they did that. They did that back in the early 2000s or the mid 2000s when Hasbro took over the line. Nobody bought it. Nobody bought line. like which, which line? The Marvel Legends line. That's like, not true. Oh, wait a minute. When Which line are we talking Not the return before that? No, like w not the return. Like when before. it was like the yeah. card backs. Um, they weren't the squared off boxes we have today. They right. were on card backs. They weren't good character selection. The builder figures were good, but you know, they didn't hold up in a lot of ways, or they didn't like that nemesis Holocaust figure from Age of Apocalypse. It was prone to breakage, it was brittle and it was easy to break. Um, and then the line died. Like it did. Like it went to like Toys R Us exclusive two packs, and it took a lot of pressure at all these different fan events, basically New York Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con and Toy Fair for them to go, okay, maybe there's a market. And then they came back and it's been this rise of like, I think one year we counted and it was like 150 figures a year. And okay. if you average that out at like at this year at like 26 bucks a pop, I mean, that's a lot of money for just one person to go all in. And their answer usually is at these shows, Hey, you don't have to buy everything. You're crazy if you do. And it's like, <laughs> but, but you're creating this collector's market. You know, yeah. you're working within this collector space where everybody needs to have everything, but you know, it don't, don't, you know, if you can't, if you can't afford it, if you can't do it, don't, don't do it. I think that they kind of, I think some of the people like Dan is always Dan Yunan <clears throat> from the marketing team is always like, guys, like don't, don't spend more than you can physically afford. Like he constantly is posting that. And it's like, well, then make it cheaper or don't put out as much because you're killing us. As I, wonder where he went. I wonder where he went to marketing school. I often wonder that. Not, I can clearly Dave, not a school that should be so, open. Let's back it up on Super yeah. 7 with Dave. I want to hear your take on it, Dave. What do you think of Dave? Because I think Brian Flynn's like pretty cool and like he's clearly passionate he's about out of touch. Stuff. He's so he's out, out of touch. touch. Dave, where do, so what do you out of touch. What do you think about Super 7's emergence into like the mainstream um, toy community? I think they should go back to the sewer where they belong because the only thing in the stores are those bullshit reaction figures for 17 fucking 99 or 29. If they wanted to. It, yeah, no, that is a disgrace and a joke. Like I have the Thundercats because it's the only way I was getting Thundercats. I know he like he has two of all the Thundercats. This not one. not the retro, not the reaction. Not the reaction. No, no, no. We're talking ultimates now. Yes. So the ultimate figures are very nice, but it's 
soon as they got deep enough where it's like, okay, this is almost complete now, or what I would consider complete, where I wouldn't need any more, that's when they raised the price by $10. Did I break up there again? No. Okay. I'm actually considering jumping jumping off at, at a certain point because it's just too much now. No, it's too much. And again, like the Thundercats now, I look at it, if it died tomorrow, I'd be like that's fine like that's complete to me yeah that's more than good enough i can live without wily kid and wily cat and snarf and all that shit like it's it's fine Where but you, i mean what the, he um... said before about not delivering product like they didn't deliver on the product like they had like nine and a half years to make chitara like they fucked it up they sent it back what we got they still fucked not- it up is not what they advertised we were getting is so and, and and the problem is they took the money up front and I think that's oh, what yeah. bothered me too. Like if you order oh, directly yeah. from them, which is I want to support the company, I want to support the line at, at the start. So I bought all my stuff directly through them. So I couldn't cancel. And they took the money. Right. And how and long so, was it? It was over a year, oh, right? Wasn't it two, almost two years? Two, two to two and a half years for yeah, one of those weeks. Yeah, that's insane. Come on. Yeah. What about the Castle Grey Skull they put out? What do you think of that? They didn't put out Castle Grey Skull, they put out Snake Mountain. Right. I haven't seen that. one in person. It looked incredible. I've seen yeah. the size of the box. I know somebody that has three of them because he buys them to flip them. And like it's it takes up half a room. Like Does it retained its value. Like what's it going yeah. for these days? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably double. How much was it? It was like 750. Oh Jesus. Shipped. It was 750 shipped. Do you guys mess around with play sets? You do? And you didn't want the Snake Mountain? No, crazy. because I refuse to support that dipshit at Mattel. Um, <laughs> and so I didn't buy Castle Grayskull. I was like, no, like I'm not at that point. I should have. It was like 150 bucks. I really should have. Um, but because I didn't have Grayskull, I didn't feel a compulsion to get Snake Mountain. Um, I did buy the Thunder Tank, though. So. For Thundercats, that 500 shipped, or is that just plain 500? No, 500. It was like 489 shipped. Oh, only 489. Okay, yeah. okay. So, okay, so wait a second. So, you bought, <laughs> you bought, the, Thund- you bought the Thundercats tank for how much? Yeah, 489 or f- close to 500. Okay, it's big, right. like it, it's it's a big thing, it's big, it's huge. Okay, so so coming from my world where I kind of jump in with like toys and see toys as art, five hundred dollars for a toy is it's it's a lot of money, but it's also like that's just how much it costs if it's gonna be something that you know, the way I see it with toys, like there are toys that are they also function as art. I know a lot of people don't agree with that. I I agree with that. Not in the toy community. I mean, jumping back to how I said toy collectors don't get respect. Yeah, a lot of people don't think of the toy as art. Uh, That's kind of become more acceptable as the years have gone by, and and more action figures are out there these days. But um, that 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 amount of money to me, that's I don't I don't like balk at that. Like I don't clutch my pearls when someone says, "Oh, that toy's five hundred dollars." so now we're going to get into it. Did you back the Hell Charger, Khalil? Under pressure and and oh. and of Dave every day going, this thing's got a fund. This thing's got a fund. It's got a fund. It's got a fucking fund. Um, yes, at 1130 on Friday night, I backed it. Are you Good still man. backing it? At this moment, yes. I don't think it's going to fund. Okay, so for listeners, we're talking about so HasLab does crowdfunding for certain toys where if it reaches a goal of backers who sign up to pay for the thing, the thing is released. It's not just a normal release or a pre-order where it's going to come out eventually. If there are not backers for it, it is not coming out. And the latest one is this Ghost Rider uh, uh, vehicle. It's a charger. It's not Johnny. Like I said at the top of, the, of this podcast, it's not Johnny Blaze on his motorcycle. It is a new Ghost Rider, a, a fellow, a kid named Robbie Reyes, a totally new character who is, uh, who who gets the 
I, I actually don't read it. So how does he become Ghost Rider? Spirit of Vengeance. Spirit of vengeance. He, yes. he yes. inherits the spirit, the, the power yeah. that Johnny has. It, it's kind of like the um, Phoenix Force, I, I imagine. The Spirit of Vengeance. Sure, just, sure. Why not? Yeah. yeah. So it just kind of Close comes enough. into contact with the certain- mantle of, of that, the, the responsibility of it. And I mean, he's not, I mean, he's new, but I mean, he's been around about a decade, right? Like new, new to people yeah. that N- newish. Are- yeah. So you wouldn't, like- you wouldn't associate him with Ghost Rider right. necessarily. I've heard, but I've heard Jason Aaron is taking a liking to him and he's been using him a lot, which is hopeful. Yeah. So we'll see. No. Okay. Yeah. So, so we're going to carry on here. So, um, so I've said many times on this podcast that like I'm I'm retired from toys like I don't go near it because it's such a slippery slope. So I am coming out of my tour retirement for this Ghost Rider because okay. I personally think it is one of the coolest toys that I have seen in a long time. This car is gorgeous. The flame effects that the tires have are phenomenal. The sculpt of like the afterburn coming out of the wheels is so dope. The lines of the car are perfect. It lights up. They're even like the Ghost Rider like looks cool. Like the with the head, set, with yeah. the hair, yeah. It just looks dope. Like it looks really, really cool. <laughs> it's gonna look amazing on a shelf. And like I'm not deep in Legends. Like this isn't me opening the floodgates on Legends. This will probably be like my only Marvel Legend toy. I may be <laughs> dipping into Mafex. We'll see. But like, I think that this is just from a collector's standpoint, I think this is one of the coolest toys I've seen in a very long time. And I feel like there is a rift between people that are identifying it as that and people who are seeing like some, it's almost as if like, it's not worthy of people who normally collect legends. Like it's not, it's not in line with what legends, what, what a quote legends collector might want but I feel like it's more in line with what a collector might want. And I feel like that's where a rift is happening here because you have a guy like me who I'll spend four or $500 on a toy. So like you have a guy like me stepping in and being like identifying this as kind of a piece of art, like something that's very, very cool looking. And I'm not the type of person that goes to target looking for Marvel legends toys simply because I particularly don't love the sculpts of Marvel toys, the Marvel Legends toys. Some of them I'll see and I'm like, oh, they got that right. Like, that's pretty cool. But like others, I'll be like, you know what? Like that kind of just isn't there yet. It's not, and I don't want, I don't want McFarlane level detail because I have my problems with that stuff too. What I'm getting at here is I feel like, I feel like it's, it's, it's in service to a collector that um, is outside of their lane. And I feel like that's where the problem with funding this is happening is that it's 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 catering to a specific demo but their demo is not like they're they're almost like ignoring their kind of mainstream tier of collector and they're kind of uh it's kind of the, i guess the word i'm looking for is like it's kind of a, it's almost aspirational like this ghostwriter figure seems aspirational in the sense of like they're trying something new but it's like it, they're kind of um it's like an overstretch uh, in what they're asking of their main base. Do I have that so, right? So, so I can't find I can't find the interview now. But Dwight specifically said that he wanted to make a less expensive has a Haslab. Uh-huh. This is the result. So Someone, I, go ahead. Uh, you go. No, you no, go no. Ahead. So I I want to throw some history into it. I want to throw some like background into it because I think all the points you made were were really really good, and I think I think there's a I think this does in some ways go back to that dipshit at Mattel who wouldn't fund or, or um, the idea that we had to prove that the property was viable to the company. So they did it with masters of the universe and they tried it with Thundercats. They did it with Voltron. They did it with all those eighties properties that Mattel had. And there was this idea that we had to hit minimal quantities for them to manufacture them. So this isn't something that's new. It's a trend that's been continuing. And I think having online retailers take over a bulk of our orders and then um, stores closing, we lost KB, we lost Toys R Us. We lost the ability for us to go into a store and purchase something at this scale. I think the last time they did something this big was the TIE Fighter from 
um, a yeah. Force Awakens. Or the was, snow was, here, whichever, whichever. But was the started. Tie Fighter was like the size of a coffee table. It was like, big. Yeah. It, it was very big. So the ability for us. So now we're in this space where the only way we're going to get <clears throat> these big ticket items is a crowdfund. We're not going to crowdfund. You know, it's not. It's not technically a Kickstarter, but that whole idea. So now we're at the position where we have to prove that we're going to support it rather than the company taking the risk. It's a shitty place to be. And I see Dave shaking his head. I'm just saying, this is where we are. Yeah. Whether or not we want to be here, whether or not we should be here, these are all the things that kind of led up to the point we're at now. Right. No, and then I, I, you yeah. you come off a crowdfund with the Hiss Tank, which was $50 less. And it's in still my overpriced. opinion, it, it's still overpriced. But, you, but how many figures did we get? We got five, mm. four. It's, it's I, basically but, all the same figure, though. Like it's like the fig, like the tears didn't sell that. Everyone just wanted the goddamn piss tank. Well, this and, one needed. This one really needed. The dude, the, here the, the it, only it, problem with this is they're comparing it to every other car ever made for mass production of yeah, all. Right. That is really the only problem. If they and you can't, you properly, can't. Com- we would have been funded already. And you can't compare McFarland because he's clearly taking a loss on the stuff that oh, he does God. just That's to it. sell the product. Right. Cause there's no way. Cause he just, they're doing that Batmobile beast again as yeah. a, as an exclusive, they charge 80 bucks alone when it first came out. And yeah. now they're taking parts off of it, adding a figure and charging $30 figure. less. Again. And a like, figure that you they can't. had millions <laughs> left over of like, again, that figure was everywhere. Like he must've took them all back and be like, all right, we'll put it in with this. So you can't make those kind of comparisons no, and you can't make the comparisons. You can't make comparisons with the Bratz car and all those other cars. But they're doing so, it. So how does no one at Hasbro foresee that this would be the, what the collectors would do? It should have been about a hundred dollars less. Don't yeah. you think at least. they're kind of overextending their reach in a way? Like they're not catering to like, there's something where the, there's a rift between the people who are, um, who are loyal to Marvel Legends, but there are also people that are looking at it that don't collect Marvel Legends and seeing something unique here. Is that is that what's going on? Are there more people like I me out there know. who are going for this Ghost Rider, or am I kind of I, minority? I, I, I think there's some people that are going to go for the event of it, like Galactus in a box with a couple of his heralds. There you go. That's why Silver. Like I hated the fact that Silver Surfer was in that box. Me set. too. Why? But. <clears throat> because he doesn't because, belong in there. We have 19 silver surfers. Right. Like it's bullshit. This right. is a special event for 400 fucking dollars. Give me shit I don't have. Right. right. And that that was my argument for it too. Where I'm like, okay, I get it. But but for you, right? You don't want to track down a Walgreens exclusive from three years ago. Oh, and yeah. and after you get Galactus, right? So like you want to get everything in a box that you can do it. Um, by the way, by the way. Also, in addition to this. I personally think that from a collector standpoint, this Ghost Rider is going to be more limited than the Galactus. What, we're going to have 30,000 yeah. Galactuses out there? Yeah. Well, well, but the problem is... thousand of these Ghost Riders, like the value of that alone... No, nah, if it's only that, if we, don't, if, we don't get to, if we don't get to Mephisto, there will be zero. There will be zero sold because everyone will cancel and it's just gone. Like there is no... That's the thing. For this to sell at that, that price, it has to have everything unlocked. That is the only shot this has of going all the way through. And the rest of the unlocks have to be worth it. And yeah. they better show them this weekend. Or, I mean, we're just completely dead in the water. But I even then, I still don't think it's going to because the price is too high. You it cannot is. have all of these people comparing it to mass-produced retail. Which is, let's get this clear, downright retarded. Like it is so mindless and so stupid. The price of something that is mass produced goes down because you've made so many, so much more of it and the stores are buying it. This is a very limited edition thing. They are just not seeing that aspect of it. They're seeing a car that, I mean, and, and dude, how can you look at that car and not think it looks great? Like you can't, it's awesome. No question yeah, about it. It sucked me in. It sucked you me in. It. I only want the tears. I mean, the car to me is just like an add-on. Like the car is not even the main event. Give me Mephisto. I wanted Mephisto for the entire time of the line. Give me Mephisto. Give me Blackout. Give me Blackheart. I'm a happy maniac. I'll take the car. I'll light it up and that'll be great. But By the way, 
in our episode, years. Dave, you said you want a Mephisto. I know. He's number two, man. He's my number two Marvel Legend want. So it is bullshit that he is behind the $350 Iron Curtain of Robbie Reyes. It's not fair. But I think that there's, there's something in it to say that they, in 20 years, they've never done him. And it, it's interesting that they put him behind this because I think they're using this as a way to skirt around the idea. And it doesn't make any sense. Don't, don't, don't I think that I think that. it's making sense, but no, there's no, no they're not going to put this at retail. Now, mind you, if you look at the shit that Fortnite puts out and you look at it and you go, wait, he looks like a devil. Why mm. can't we? Well, because this is supposed to be the literal devil and he's not going to, but he's a spirit. Like they put Ghost Rider out, right? Oh, they, they put exactly. all these, like they put all these other characters out, you know, that are, they're putting out Lord of the Rings. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's, there's all these things that they put out, but they're holding him hostage behind this and they've held him for 20 years. And the only person that's put him out has been Diamond Select. Yep. And if you were lucky enough to get one of those back then, now he's going for a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. And I don't and even think that figure's that good. I really don't. So it's not yeah, bad. And you guys would not pay a couple hundred dollars for a Mephisto? No, I would not. that one. No, I had it and sold it because it was so worth so much money. And I figured, and I figured they have to have made, like, I never thought that it would still be, it would be 2022 now. And I don't have a Marvel Legends Mephisto. I mean, because we have. Especially with. Now you got to get. Just, well, you got to get them in the MCU and then we'll get one. Yeah, and again, is Disney <laughs> going to fit the devil in the MCU? I like highly how doubt he looks it. in the book. He's not going to look like that. No, he's not going to no, look like no He'll probably be in a suit with black hair and, you know. Yeah, he'll, no, it'd yeah, be awful. Gonna, yeah. Um, no, I, 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 I backed it. I want it. I don't think it's worth without all the unlocks, without all six figures. And I am honestly surprised that they backtracked and they're putting the Robbie Reyes head in. Well, they announced that today. I as far as the base costs, he's going to be in there. And I think that's just going to add more fuel to the fire, pardon the pun, um, to to this whole thing where the fans are going to be like, well, yeah, back down on that. Let's see how far you're going to back down and give us Mephesto. Like, you're just going to have to, you know, back down again. I, I think it's just going to give mu- more fuel to all these trolls that are just like talking shit and just pushing these uneducated views on what this actually is. Here's the best argument I can make though. So what is 200 times 20,000? That's 40, 4, 4 million. 4 million. I can't do math. I'm not a math. What is, what is zero times $350? Right. Right. So why don't we just have Mr. Big Wig from Hasbro come down and save the day and just say, you know what? This is overpriced. Just charge 200, fellas. I'm going to fire that asshole that thought this was worth 350. He's more. He's a moron. It's as easy as that. Like, just well, that's the back down that needs to happen, unfortunately, because if this is 200, again, this is fully unlocked already and there's no sweating it. It's. Right. it's no, it's I don't so disagree with you. I I only question the rules, the legality rules of doing a crowdfund. What do you what mean? Are, like what? what well, because, the rules be? because, because you have, I think that they are essentially looked at as a little bit of a contract. I know there are rules to Kickstarters and GoFundMes and I don't know how it applies to the corporate oh. level of these private ones that aren't on a public platform. But the idea that whoever put in money at the beginning, they were promised X, Y, and Z. And if it doesn't follow through, if it doesn't, if they add things, if they change the, the rules of it, we haven't seen them change the rule. I mean, they could have done that with the Rancor. The Rancor they was, they tried, was spilled, though. but they added tiers and they added, they added all the tiers and they added all the numbers, but they didn't reduce the price and they didn't um, add the tiers to a lower level. No, they, but they added the a rules. rancor keeper. They added a rancor keeper to the base. That's what they changed there. Right. But it still wasn't because they all the, again, it had to have unlocked everything else. Even that bullshit cardboard and 3D printed skulls. It had to unlock all that to even come close to the value. So I don't think that these unlock levels and these like benchmarks that they have set, they can walk those back. 
I mean, I don't think they can walk that back either, but they should be able to walk back the overall price. Like, I, I, I do understand what you're saying, and I don't think that they would ever say that, you know, okay, this one is now only unlockable at this amount. But backing down, I, I mean, I don't understand. Like, again, they're risking making they're risking making nothing. Like, where else are they going to get like one shot? You know, four million. So wherever their profit is, you got to figure it's probably three million because you know making this shit is not that expensive. Are you still so in? So why Dave? would you say no to three million? Are you still in? Are you still in? Did you cancel? I am still currently in, but I'll be out real fast without Mephisto, dude. And and again. Even that, I'll be pissed because one figure is not enough. So you don't care about the yeah. car. You don't think the whole thing is just super cool? Oh, I do think it's super yeah. cool. I just don't care. I just really want Mephisto and whoever the other two tiers are, dude, because I get screwed so much with Marvel Legends. Again, like I said last time, I want more shit. And the line is choking on movie stuff that I don't want. So any chance to get three characters that I don't have, especially cool ones like Mephisto and whoever the hell else they'll add, I don't give a fuck what it costs personally, but you know the best line is to throw it, Dave. If you don't like it, don't buy it. <laughs> I don't think we. I don't think it's gonna get. I don't, I don't think we're. Not, I don't think we're gonna hit twelve. He's dead in the water. He's banished. See if you're right. So if that's the case, then I'm out. Like again, I don't. I, the car for three fifty, dude, is. I. I don't. I'm not feeling it. There's only gonna be nine thousand of them, though. I understand. I do. I can. It's not worth it. It is, I don't think there's, that's the thing. That's the thing, though. I, do, I think there'll be zero. I really don't see this funding to where we only get the base. It's either going to be all the way or it's going to be nothing. Uh, 30,000 Galactus is out there. I'm going to be able to get one of those at a good price when everybody's ready to flip those. Yeah. I know somebody that has five. You have a friend who bought five of them? The f- <laughs> five Galactus? I don't know if he bought three. He bought somewhere between three and five with the expense, uh, with the plans to sell. This is it's this is this Dave. It's the same thing that I asked you. Are we in a '90s speculator boom for these toys? I I think there are aspects of it. I heard that part. For Haslabs, it's easy. Yeah, because even what you said, like there's thirty-one thousand of them. There's only thirty-one thousand of them. Like there's probably a million of all of these out there somewhere, or damn close to it. Thirty-one thousand, not that many. Yeah, but are there (laughs) thirty-one thousand? collectors out there that are willing to spend four or five hundred dollars i'm actually shocked that it's that low believe it or not like that it only sold thirty one thousand. like that to me is shocking i i would love to know the exact number of collectors around the world i really i really would and i would love to know how many of them collect legends but didn't buy galactus like right you sell half your collection to get Galactus. Like you do whatever you have to do, but you can get the other ones again later. Like if you miss out on this, you're paying through the nose. I'm sorry to tell Are you. Are you though? Are you though? So, so that, so that's the interesting part. I, I think that that is, there's that idea that um, you're missing out. There's that idea that it's going to oh, yeah. cost you more down the road. And yep. with the sale barge, I mean, it's triple quadruple the price. For the yeah. vintage collection sale Java sale barge, but that was very um, low. Like, wasn't that only like eight or nine thousand that got yeah, made? It was really low. But then when you look at the Sentinel um, and some of the subsequent one, has anything else come out from Hasla? No. Well, the the Razor sure. Crest, the Razor Crest, the Razor and there's, Crest. There, there's yeah, a yeah. couple. The there's a Crest. What's the Razor? What? Crest? Is that a Star uh, Wars thing? Mandalorian ship. Oh, right cool. That came. That was that one of the first ones or something? No, that was the no, most recent the one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and how much was that when it came out? Like how three, much? Was- three fifty, I think three hundred somewhere around there. And did, did all the tiers get unlocked? Yeah, everything got unlocked. What yeah, was it? Um, so it was a ship. It was a couple carded characters. It was um, uh, carbonite versions of some of the characters. Uh, an extra Mando. I, I I can't remember all the different tiers. A couple Jawas. Yeah, um, that was it. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah. Jaw was the, the child in the vintage carded. It, it was the card was different. Cool. You know, it was kind of like a very different thing. Um, but but I think I, I don't I don't think like I've seen that for like seven hundred. So it was three hundred. That's doubled in price. The Let Sentinels. I'm seeing. Let yeah. me ask you this: Are we just counting what we see on eBay that's sitting on eBay, or have you seen sales? 
where it's sold. Comes yeah, no, you only count sold listings. Absolutely. Yeah. And stores. I, I've got two stores that are near me that are selling Razor Crest right now for 700 bucks. But are they selling it or that's is that what's on the sticker for them? Is it that's what they the want store? it for? It is right. sitting in the store and that's what right. they want for that's, it. That's my point. Like, yeah, you could put it on eBay for all you want. And maybe the first few weeks when people are, you know, ravenous for it. But like after a while, some of these people, like your friend who bought a few of these Galactus, does he really think he's gonna gonna make and I'm assuming it's a it's a male, right? One of them's are yeah, he one of them's already pre-sold. One of them, but <laughs> for double. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what he charged for it. Right. And I don't want to get into numbers, but, but my point is yeah. like, this sounds a lot like, Hey, I'm buying 10 issues of spawn number one. Cause I'm going to retire on it. I, I think that there's a difference with these because there's not the opportunity. There's, there shouldn't there theoretically, there shouldn't be the opportunity for them to come back up again mm-hmm. without the support of a Toys R Us or a KB. They're not going to sell a Sentinel again. Oh. Like it's just not going to happen. Yeah. Um, or if you do, you're going to pay out the nose, even though they have the tooling set for it. Mm-hmm. Um, so this Sentinel, they're selling five ninety nine ninety five plus one hundred and twenty shipping, six forty nine plus forty three shipping. Like they're basically double already. Yeah, double. Yeah, and yeah. and I think that that's. But they're holding it double, and it's been a year. The Sentinel's been less than a year. It's been like eleven months, twelve that's, 10 months. That's the key. Less yeah. than a year. Give it time, man. Like especially for an army builder, like that one. That one will go up. That one will be a thousand dollars within the next five years. How many you got? I don't think I won. I, yeah, I'm, yeah. I can't be army building those, man. I mean, come on. It's bad enough that I only build all the GI Joe shit now. That's expensive enough. I had to ask. Just curious. That's okay. Dude, there's that dude on Facebook that has like 14 of them. It's amazing. Every time he posts pictures, it's like, oh my God. Wow. Yeah, no, that, that 14 is, is insane. No, but, but good for him. I mean, good for him. Do you think that I did have my girlfriend buy a Galactus just in case, just when we were getting towards the end and all the tears were getting unlocked. I was like, yeah, no, you, you got to buy one now. We'll throw it in the attic. Like again, five years, we'll see what it's worth. She'll yeah. make money. The cool thing is that so, it, Galactus isn't going anywhere. It's one of the most popular characters in the, in, in, in yeah. the Marvel universe. So it's, and, the, and there's a, and there's a standard that they will stick for the most part to it. Like when, when they did the last, you know, like the not, has lab versions but the like the the one that they put on amazon a couple of years ago has like quadrupled in price like it was a hundred bucks when it came out i think it's selling on amazon right now for like three four hundred bucks like, marvel universe one? yeah that one yeah yeah but they marvel. repainted it for legends with oh, the days of yeah, Future that, Past. Oh, yeah that one that's not a no, but, but but what i'm saying is like it you know they're, they're not I, they're not they didn't go back and redo the marvel universe galactus like there, so I, I there is like this idea that it's going to hold place. Like they're not going to continue to kind of, you're not going to have a chance down the line. This is your one shot. That's it. Better not. Yeah, they yeah. better not. That would be really low. I put nothing past them, but that would be really low How to re-release a Haslab. How tall like is it? Three feet? feet. Is it three feet? Three and a half, four feet, like thirty-nine inches, thirty-eight inches. Galactus. It's yeah. it's yeah, it's big. It's about a That's, head taller than the Sentinel. Right. And so that's the other problem with the current HasLab, though. Like I saw a, a little diagram that they made with the height of the Sentinel, the height of Galactus, and then the height of the car. Yeah. Also very bad, considering they're all the same price. It's it. I mean, it was just so poorly planned. And again, I'm sure it wasn't. I'm sure that they went into this thinking this is going to be the price. It'll be 200 something. We'll all be great. Everyone will be happy. You could tell though when they were making that video that they were not happy they were kind of lifeless they were you know not so thrilled so i bet they got hosed i really that's the only thing i really makes sense what well, and the decisions design versus price is not always on the same page and so no, i agree right with well. you I, I i agree with the assessment that, that there wasn't the same enthusiasm that we've seen in the past at the yep. time that we're recording this yeah uh, there are 5,461 backers from Ghost Rider down. It's, it's down about a, a little over 500 backers since last Friday. It's been just going, it's a little up somebody, today, but it's, dipped, I thought but it's some, mostly sorry. down. I thought somebody said it was 700 that they dipped. It was it at 6,000 on Friday. Okay. So 
It, yeah, and it was at sixty six percent. It's now down to sixty point six eight percent. Yeah. So, it's, so it's, what are we like? So what are we like? Close to seven thousand away from Mephisto? <laughs> at least thirty two days Christ left Christ of the sake. campaign too. I mean, they've got to do a major push this week. A major push. A major push. If the dude and what will just send me over the edge, man. If they even so much as hint that Mephisto will, this will be the only way we will get Mephisto. Like if they even they did at it. They did. They hinted at it. All right. They didn't hint. They didn't hint at it hard enough. So like Dan (laughs) down. I don't know what it's. I don't know what more of a hint when they say. There are figures that are going to be part of this that we are not, would not do at retail. That would be not normal. No, they said that they would not normally do. But again, dude, you can't say that it would be part of a HasLab, but they couldn't just do it on Pulse. That makes, you know, that makes no sense. And even they're well, not dumb enough to try that. Like Dan Downright said, you won't get Nova if Galactus isn't made. Yeah. If so, if they say that with Mephisto, that's, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a real big problem. Do you think the disconnect here is that you have Hasbro attempting to do hot toys or sideshow collectibles sort of premium format collectibles? Or do you think they just shit the bed on this Ghost Rider character and just really just made it at a stupid price? That one, that one. Shit the bed. I think that they picked the wrong price. I don't think they're trying to compete with Sideshow just because I don't think they have, they have Pulse. I know they have Pulse and they're using Pulse, but they don't have the same retail market that they used to have five, 10 years ago. And so it is limiting their ability to pick something larger scale once a year to put out at retail. Mm -hmm. And so this is their answer to do that. Yeah. And, and, and go ahead, Dave. I want to look something up. I mean, let's think about how dumb they are though. Like, so, like the pandemic hit, pandemic made so many collectors Ooh, and the stock's going up. Everyone's happy. What is their response to that? Let's raise the price and change the boxes to piss every single one of them off. Um, yeah, no, it, it makes complete sense. Like it makes 100% sense. Everything that you're saying Um Oh, I, I sorry, I was looking up because I had this epiphany that goes, are they using the conchu body for Mephesto? <laughs> they're not, they're not, oh, it's different. Oh, oh, but oh, wow. but I look I was looking at the parts going, wait, he's really tall, he's got wraps around his legs. Wait, is that what they did with conchu? No, 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 wow. no. That was a good thought. That's that's yeah. I good even one. saw people sorry. typing about the the digital render of the feet. Does Has- Hasbro have the reputation Dude. of those be like that, where, whereas those bland kind of booty feet will be the feet that you get, or is, do they have the reputation of actually coming through <laughs> with the detail when it matters? Unfortunately, I, I wouldn't put they it past have, them. The, unfortunately, they have the the bad end of that reputation currently. However, I don't think those will be the feet, and if they are, I don't care. Just fucking give me Mephisto for Christ's sake. Like we're gonna nitpick his feet. No one's looking at his feet on the shelf. Can you picture what Rogues, what Marvel Legends Rogues feet look like right now? Like I can't. They're probably yellow. I don't know. They might be like they might be black for all I know. I'm not even looking. Just give me the goddamn figure. Let's not nitpick on the feet. I think I think it's a really interesting point too because I think that there is a 20 year investment for a lot of us. In this, yes. like there, 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 there's, there's the one-time collector like you, that that might be looking at it and go, "Hey, this is a really cool piece. It'd be really nice. I really like the character. I like the idea." There's, That's the thing. Hold on, let me pause right there. Yeah, I don't give a shit about Robbie Reyes. Right. I don't read right. the books yet. I like, I like the product. You like the car. Right. And and I think that there are a a small number of people that that are going to do that. Yeah. And I think there's a, a 20 year investment going. All right, look, we, we've been supporting this shit since day one. Like we've been here. Like I got wave one at Toys R Us. I actually yeah. got wave one at Blockbuster. I got the nice. Blockbuster sticker on one of them. Like I've got wave one in package right now in the other room. Like I, you know, there, there are those that have been here and to see something like this, like a Sentinel that's 
adequately sized. I wouldn't even say that that's properly sized for a Sentinel, to be honest with you. Um, I'd like it to be bigger. I want it to be another two feet bigger, to be honest. It'd be bigger. Yeah. Um, same thing with Galactus. I think it should be the size of a five-year-old. Like, there's <laughs> no. Um, but they're adequately sized. And the problem is, this is a cycle circle for a lot of us. It's that whole idea that us 80s kids have lived with of the idea of we had records, then we had tapes, then we got CDs, then we got MP3s. Now most of us are either buying Spotify or Apple Music and we're still paying for our music, right? Like we're at that point. Well, you know what? I bought Hobgoblin in 19... Well, no, I didn't. I didn't buy Hobgoblin. It's just, this is the first time I've had them. But I bought Secret Wars back in 84. You know what? I bought In 91, I bought Marvel superheroes. Then I bought in 2001, I bought Marvel Legends. And then I bought Marvel Universe. And then I went back into Legends. I sold off all my Legends. I went back in. And then I'm buying the little ones and I'm buying the movie figures. I'm buying, you know, th this is pattern. And there's this idea that we'll be done after this. I think that there's this perception that if I get this, I won't ever need another one. And I've, at, being at 43 years old, I've come to the realization we are never done. No, never. We are never, ever. I bought my grail. I have it. I thought I was done. I thought it would be a point where I go, all right, I can, I can breathe. I, I'm good. Like, I, you know, everything kind of will take a back seat. It'll be nice to get, be nice to have. I have two bags of toys next Wait, to me right grail? now that what I just bought. What was your grail? Um, uh, 86 superpower cyborg because i never had it as good a one kid. that was a scary i got it two weeks ago three weeks ago may i ask the price how much just got it how much less than you would think how much so i bought a prototype so nice congrats i'm not gonna say how much i bought for it dave what's your what's your grill we didn't get to that do you have one um no, I have everything I want basically. That's been that's out there. There's really yeah, nothing. I I don't fuck around, dude. I don't have anything for yeah. I don't have anything from, like the olden days. Sure, there's so there's stuff that they could make that I would very much Somebody like. Like I like the number one want that I have is a comic Katuma. And what did they give me instead? That MCU pile of vomit. I don't know. <sighs> so Khalil, we I cut you off, but you but but. Uh, please carry on. You were saying you reached the epiphany that there, you're never going to end, that this is a, a, an ongoing pursuit, an ongoing passion. Yeah, sorry, you guys froze, so I caught the end of that question. Was that for me? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you, I, 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 I'm just saying I cut you off yeah. if, you, if, you, if you can still follow that train of thought. Yeah, no, I, 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 I do agree it's an ongoing passion. I don't know if there'll be the drive as big as it, it was before I got the cyborg. Cause there was this guy, I woke up every morning. I checked eBay every morning. Like I looked for it everywhere. I went every morning. I checked eBay. I looked and I looked and I looked and finally I decided I found a really good one. I found a prototype that had never in circulation that was used by one of the employees. It was in mint condition. It's not complete. It's not on card. It's loose. I got it. It feels better than getting a general release one. Honestly, I like it better. Um, I think that there's a part of me that's quiet now from it. Like there's not a, as big of a drive. I, you're laughing, but th there isn't. There isn't. I feel it. Drive. No, I get it. I and, get it. And, and now there's this feeling of like, what do I do with all this shit? And so like, yeah, I want Robbie Reyes' card because there's a possibility that I could do something cool with it later. Dude, but I, I mean, if we get it, I'll set it up. I'll put him on top of it and I will love it forever like it's i will put it out i'll move the razor crest i'll put the razor crest away i'll put that out for a while and then something else will come along and i'll put that out yeah no see my like, shit stays out you're a, you're a display changer like mine will be out forever and i will always look at it and think that thing is fucking awesome i want, Every I time. want to open a museum that's what i want i want to open a museum i'm in let's go that's we'll what everybody says yeah. yeah we'll do it in, somewhere in new york app done sold um so what can we do here? Time. So, so what? So, aside from lowering the price, is there anything that that, that could, you think could entice people to move in? Because it seems like there's a there's it seems like the 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 people who collect Marvel Legends just are unified with 
the middle finger for HasLab on this one? I think that there's a prevailing trend with watching Hasbro increase prices like 33% over the last year and a half. And then these multiple Haslabs on top one, on top of the other, on top of the other. It's not once a year. It's not a team takes every six months or eight months and then delivers them before the next one starts. We don't have Galactus yet. Right. And now they want more money from us. We just spent money on his tanks. Now they want more money from us. So there's this, I think there's this general perception where we're watching McFarlane take losses from a business standpoint, but from a consumer standpoint, we're going, Hey, it's cheaper product. Like we're not paying as much. I, I'm just saying like, there's all these other things that everybody's looking at and comparing them unfoundedly. Like they, they shouldn't, they shouldn't make these comparisons, but they are. They are. And so Hasbro they, should have known, like Hasbro should have known that they were going to make that comparison. And in the fairness, two, yeah. And I never thought for one second about, McFarland operating at a loss before you said it. They are hundred so, percent. I mean, you're right. Like now, now that you've said it and I've heard it, it's like, wow, that's absolutely the case. But again, you're not going to convince the masses that that's the case. They're looking at that no. stupid fucking Batmo or bat. What is that called? Batmo beast or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. And seeing the price and just saying, that's the comparison I'm using and that's it. But you're and absolutely right. He has to be operating at a loss. And, and and I think it was like in one panel of one book. Oh, well, like of course it, it was. Yeah. Like it wasn't anything meaningful. And so no. like you compare the Bratz cars from 2002, you, you, you get these mass market things that are a target at Walmart on Amazon that are selling garbage. millions of units. That, you, you can't compare this stuff. You can't, oh. you can't make the comparisons, but they are, they are. They don't care to understand. They want what they want and they're going to bitch and they're going to moan and they're going to complain. And well, short of like them driving up in the actual Hellmobile from uh, Hell Charger from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. with the actor on fire. I don't think anybody's going to back this thing. I think it's dead in the water. I don't think they can do anything to, I don't to, to make it work. Like they pay for focus group research, though. Like I know that they do. I've heard it way too many times for it not to be the case. So how do they not know? How do they not know? Because we continue to buy the shit that they keep raising the prices on. It's not me. I mean, I, I, dude, I never even thought about. Which are you still buying Legends? Oh yeah, sure. Are you still buying GI Joe? You yeah. just bought it. You just bought a Dark Trooper. Yes. Okay. You're still however, buying the shit. However, I'm buying less at full price. Doesn't matter. Doesn't it matter. Doesn't matter. Mother, mother. It does. It doesn't matter as long. As, and the problem is. We are in a crab barrel of a situation because we are all going to crawl over each other and step on each other to try to get out and try to get the thing that everybody else doesn't have. Totally. So we are never going to organize to the point where our dollars are going to matter. The Haslabs are probably the closest thing we're going to have to that. Which makes but no I, sense. You would think that people would be jumping to get Ghost Rider right now because it's going to be the would. thing that not many people are going to have. But we're, we're voting with our dollars, right? It's not worth it. Like some of us are like, we think it's cool. We really want it. We're going to go in for it. We know, we know it's wrong. We know we shouldn't be paying this. <laughs> but we're still going to do it. There's just Dude. fatigue setting in. There's just fatigue setting in. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty rough economy out right now. Not Johnny Blaze. It has a lot working against it. But there listen, is. Man, listen. Wait, 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 wait. There is always the end push. Like if you guys remember how long it took Galactus to fund, like no matter what, even that rank board, which we all decided we're not getting was very, very, very close to funding at the end. I was watching. But that's so the thing, is... right? Star Wars didn't fund. The minute oh, you yeah. took the power away from Star Wars, you go, oh, shit. Like I, I saw the rank board and I'm like, it doesn't matter. It's going to fund. It's, it's Star Wars. It's the rank board. It's a, one of a kind piece. Of course, the Star Wars fans are going to support it. And when it didn't fund, I was like, "Oh, oh, the games have changed for all Haslabs going forward. Mm-hmm. Like anything can happen." Honestly, like there's just- that thing, and that thing would have funded easily with good tears. Like they gave us repaints, cardboard, and bones. That fucker came on that screen and said, "This is a custom piece of art." How nine nine hundred individual versions of brown. <laughs> Fuck off. He's brown. Just cast him in brown plastic, paint his eyes, and hand him to us. Like 
So the Rancor is the the beast that that uh, Luke fights when he goes to Jabba's hut and he gets thrown yeah. into the, the dungeon. Right. Yes. So, yes. but I remember, I remember Rancor, the OG from the Return of the Jedi figure line, being amazing. Like, why would it was you great. want another one? It was great. Well, because oh, Black because, Series. Yeah, no, this is way big. better. Big. This was this is big and very detailed and very articulated. No, oh. the thing was awesome, dude. They they say that this, they say that the one that they put out at San Diego Comic Con in the display was just a one off. But it was a test and everybody talked about it because every day it moved within that case until one of until the Star Wars panel and they actually moved it out of its cage. Like you saw them like tease it, tease it, tease it. They threw a bunch of other figures that they hadn't talked about yet that were in the display. They were focus grouping it at 2019 San Diego Comic Con. Uh-huh. <laughs> so yeah, I I you know, I I think Hasbro is on the ledge right now with collectors and, and consumers. I just think they are. I think they're pushing the boundaries of what we're willing to accept. So and at a certain point- You think they're point, their hand. You do think they're overreaching? Oh, 100%. Yeah. I, look, I love the designers. I love the product in general. Like, I love the properties they have. I love Joe's. I love Transformers. It's my childhood. Like, it's 90% of my childhood that they're putting out in a 3D form. I absolutely love it. Do I think the business that they're doing is good no it's shit it's just it's they are too they they think they're too big to fail and at some point the bubble's gonna pop i it, i think that that's what it is they're like they're gonna buy the shit regardless of whatever we put it up for watch them people like, are still operating with pandemic prices right they're still thinking. i don't think it's pandemic i don't think it's pandemic it's bullshit oh, you don't you don't think no. that the, you don't think there's they don't you don't think that they that that the people who are um, marketing and selling this stuff um, saw the trends during lockdown, and they think that that's just how things are now, as opposed to just a a spike. I but think they're ke- very much trying to keep it that way. They're right, basing right. their information off of an extraordinary circumstance, and they're just not getting it that that was a very special thing, and they were lucky to have that. Yes, they're, and, it, that's not and the I standard, think that right, if Dave? no, the they think it is, but it's not. Right. Well, and Dude, that's the now, problem, right? There was never a time before the pandemic that I would go to Target at eight o'clock in the morning and I wouldn't be the only one there. During the pandemic, I was sometimes 12th in line and they were all collecting something. Pokemon cards, figures, Hot Wheels. It just, yeah, no. Yeah. They, again, all they had to do was keep everything the same. They could have even been heroes, dropped the price. That would have been great. They could have put it up to $22.99 and then dropped it back down to $19.99 and everyone would have been so happy. No, no and it's just content, and I think it's just going to get worse because we're seeing these like the luxes, and we're seeing these exclusives, and those prices are like they're thirty bucks a figure, and it's like there's nothing in the box that warrants this price. There's nothing in the box, and that's what I'm saying. At a certain point, the bubble's going to pop. Yeah, Khalil, are those you going stuff. to Target tomorrow? Are you going to look for figures tomorrow? Yeah. What are you looking? Yes, for? I am. Um, I want the new McFarland uh, Solomon Grundy. Ah. Made Solomon Grundy. They did. A, it's a four-figure build-a-figure wave they from the Arkham games. They take forever to get to the East Coast, man. Like so long. It's no, ridiculous. no, no. They've been hitting. McFarland well, works different, and it's a general release. It's a general release. It's supposed to be uh, part of the new reset. It's oh, not, I know. A, it's not exclusive. I know it's not exclusive. Just McFarlands in general. They get to California, and then it just takes forever for them to get to us. We don't have Ocean Master yet. I haven't seen o- any Ocean Masters right, on the but East I got Coast. Parallax and Asbat as fast as... I got them faster than anybody else. I got them from Amazon, so yeah. No, so did. did I. Yes, I did. Dave, you oh, I'm sorry. Me. Parallax and Asbat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was thinking it was atrocious. I'm so sorry. No. Yes, you did You did very well with, with those, yes. So, yeah. but, so again, but that was that's Ocean, not the norm. Ocean Master is uh, exclusive, and Amazon's supposed to have them next week. So either the Amazon pre-order will come through or I'll Target. find them at Target. One target, or the other. Target. Yes, no. Target. Dave, are you going to Target tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I'll go on my lunch, but I'm not even looking for anything. They could not possibly have anything I could want. What are you looking forward to? What's the next thing that you're looking forward to? GI Joes. It's always GI Joes these days. Ah, but wait a minute. You know what? The, um, Ayla was found. Star Wars Black uh, Ayla Secura was found at uh, a Target today. Did you hear that? No. So I will. 
I will give them that number just in case. But they're in grim at best. Stuff. Khalil, yeah. are you looking forward to anything coming up? I don't know anymore. I'm so lost Serpent. in the weeds. I want Serpentor in my Oh, no. That yeah, no. I, I want, yeah, no. Serpentor, I'm looking forward to getting in hand, and I will pay out the nose to get him first. Right. Is there a, is that you. classified? Is that like a GI Yeah. 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 yeah it's classified. Serpentor coming up, a six inch yeah. ultra detailed yeah. Serpentor. Are they going to do yeah. um, Nemesis Enforcer ever or no? Is like Let's right hope so. Man? Oh, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Who was I'm the hoping dude they'll with go the snake tail? Time. Globulus or something? Go- Globulus, yeah. yeah. Are they going to do that eventually? There'll be a lot of money, but I bet they will. See, Lenny is the best. Came out in that GI Joe original cartoon movie. Those guys were the baddest. Yeah, Yeah. and the guy, the guy making classified is is one of us. Like he is the absolute best. I love that guy. I told you about him last time. His name name is Lenny. Yes, no, Lenny gets it. Yeah, just a great dude. And yeah. All right, final question, guys. Can one of you get me a Galactus for a decent price when they come out? Help me out. (laughs) 